and a very blessed Christmas to all. Over the days of Advent, we have repeatedly sung the familiar Advent hymns, expressing the hope and desire for Christ's coming. Particularly in the closing days of Advent season, when the Church offers the O Antiphons, the seven titles of Christ, then the cry takes on a greater urgency as we say, Come now and do not delay. Seeking hearts and the hearts that are filled with hope and longing also have a confidence that what they seek and hope for is possible and already in the making. In this vein, the Gospels give us the images of expectant motherhood in the persons of Mary and Elizabeth. We share with them the excitement and anticipation, as St. Luke tells us, that all who heard of it treasured it in their hearts. What will this child turn out to be, they wondered. And what are the things in life we look forward to and get excited about? For some it may be a course of studies. For others it may be the house they are planning. Some experience this in building relationships. Others may be working on career advancement or towards some achievement in sport or some activity. St. Paul tells us in, the, in his letter to the Philippians, For us, our homeland is in heaven, and from heaven comes the Saviour we are waiting for, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will transfigure these wretched bodies of ours into copies of his own glorious body. He will do that by the same power with which he can subdue the whole universe. For us, whatever we are excited about and hope for in life and want to accomplish, we give everything, we invest, we throw ourselves into it. The Advent and Christmas invitation is to be filled with longing and desire and to give our whole being to ushering our Saviour into the world, to rule hearts and show us his ways. He comes into the world through the lives of believers who are caught up in building love, forgiveness, gratitude and belonging. As humanity claims its identity in celebrating sacredness, in building trust and reconciliation, in showing responsibility for others, care for the environment, collaboration in protecting the common good. Through these things, it opens ways for Christ to dwell among his people. In the air for us in Guyana is the anticipation of elections. Our wish always at these times is for an outcome that will be a blessing for the nation. We can confidently hold this hope because there is so much evidence of what is good and what is possible. But it is never enough only to wish or hope for such blessings. Blessings will unfold as the electorate in a unified effort live and help each other live and live for what we hope. At this Christmas time, let us pray for our nation. My charge and wish to all, bring Christmas into the world, bring Christ among his people. Fill your lives with the actions that are fired by hope and longing and excitement. Lives that are filled 
with a confidence that God is with us and seeks to increase his presence among us. A blessed and sacred Christmas to all.